Today's like Christmas for me. I'm finally upgrading my video card. Now the truth is I really didn't need to. The machine that I'm on is the one that I use to create my YouTube videos and editing and compiling takes a long time. So I jumped on Amazon and found one for about 300 bucks. By today's video card standards, that's cheap. But I thought, you know what? This would be a good opportunity for me to make a video and show people who maybe want to get into gaming but don't want to spend a ton of money or people who do video or graphics editing and maybe need a little more processing power. So today I'm going to show you before and then I'm going to show you after and you can look and see for yourself if upgrading your video card even to a cheaper one might make sense. Let's get into it. To keep things fair, I rebooted my computer and I'm going to run a processor benchmark on multiple levels, basic through extreme so that we can kind of compare before and after. And then I'm gonna show you the speed at which I can compile a video now, and then we'll compile the same video with the new graphics card. So the program I'm using is called Unigen Heaven Benchmark. This is just a basic benchmark program that gives you an idea of your graphics capability and your ability to play games. It's not an actual game, but it goes through game-like scenarios. So I'm gonna run this test with the absolute most basic settings, which is gonna run in a window, but it'll give you an idea of how fluid it is. Here we go. Now remember, this machine is about 11 years old. I've got an old ATI graphics card in there. It's not much of anything, but it's better than the one that came on the motherboard. Even at the most basic, lowest settings, it's still choppy. So this will give you an idea of how bad it is trying to compile a video. I have to deal with my 20 year old graphics card just not able to handle the kind of raw power that I need to be able to do that stuff. So you can see it's pretty, pretty slow and choppy. Yeah, that was just painful. I'm gonna put it on extreme settings and well, you'll see. If I was a gamer, I'd be dead already. Even in a windowed environment, not even full screen 1080p, this thing is horrible. You may have something similar on your system where you don't have real high-end graphics capability. You're the person I really want to show today what adding a graphics card, even an inexpensive one, can actually do for your performance. Let me turn this off before I literally jump out the window. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to open a video and compile it. What I've got here is a video file when exported is about a gigabyte. So I'm gonna go ahead and run this test with my existing graphics card. So when the new one comes in, we're gonna drop it in and we're gonna see what the difference is. Here we go. Okay, so it took uh, just under six minutes to compile a one gig file with my standard archaic 100 year old graphics card. So once we get the new one, we're gonna pop it in, we're gonna run the test again and see how much faster it actually is. Look what just came in. <laughs> so I'm gonna go ahead and shut down the computer. I'm gonna swap out the card and we're gonna see what this entry level gamers card can actually do for an average system. So you thought I was kidding when I said this is an old computer. This computer is 11 years old, but I'm gonna give it some more life putting this video card in. So I got the new card installed and everything appears to be running great. So what I wanted to do is run that test again that I just ran a little while ago. Now I wanna see what the test will do with the new graphics card. All the settings are the same. I'm gonna go ahead and test it now with the new graphics card and here we go. Three minutes, 36 seconds, down from almost six minutes. That literally cut my editing time almost in half. So if you do any kind of video editing, music mixing, anything that requires a lot of processor power, this particular video card is a great way to take an older computer and really give it a performance boost. Now comes the serious test. What does it do with gaming? When I ran these tests with my old crappy video card, even the basic test was choppy and ugly. And we're just gonna start with the absolute basic settings, the same one that made my other card choke and die. Now, as you can see, it works great in a windowed environment. It's already light years better than the one I was using. Now comes the real test. What can it do at full 1080p? So let's see. So I'm gonna put the settings here at the absolute extreme. Literally every setting is the maximum. 
So if you wanted to run games on an older computer, just upgrading your video card might do it. So let's see what it looks like. Now I know it may still look a little choppy in this full screen window, but I promise you it is smooth as silk. I think the problem is, is my capture card is causing a little bit of a lag, but it is absolutely smooth and bright and vivid and it's amazing. It is running a thousand times better than my other card was in a windowed environment. This thing is running amazing at full screen. Definitely worth 300 bucks that I spent on the card. Not only for the massive decrease in editing time, audio editing, video editing, photo creation, anything like that that requires a lot of processor power for 300 bucks, I mean, it absolutely makes all the difference in the world. I am so excited. So I am not gonna lie to you. I don't like spending money on my computer and I really didn't wanna spend $300 on a video card. I traded in this piece of crap, but let's be real. There's no comparison between this and this. So if you want actual high-end performance, regardless of the age of your computer, I would highly recommend getting yourself one of these GeForce RTXs. It's considered the entry level for gaming cards, but at $300, you saw what it can do in an 11-year-old machine. Imagine what it can do in yours. I'll put a link in the description below. You can check it out. I think you're gonna be pretty happy. Thanks so much for watching.